Do you believe, between Jose Mourinho and John Terry, the captain, that Chelsea, to take one of Britain's mm -hmm. leading teams right now, yep. have a deliberate policy of bullying and intimidating referees? I find it hard not to. When you watch John Terry play for England, and he doesn't go to those excesses that he goes to when playing for Chelsea. So if it's in someone's intrinsic nature, that's how they behave, and they can't control themselves. Like, like Cantona when he was in his full pomp, you couldn't talk to him about don't do this or don't do that, that was him. Wayne Rooney now, he goes in, you know, he's got problems with metatarsals. He won't stop challenging like he challenges, it's part of Wayne's game. John Terry challenges a referee in a domestic game when playing for Chelsea will challenge a referee when playing for Chelsea on a UEFA match, and yet when playing for England, he behaves very, very well. So, deliberate intimidation. I, I can't see how it isn't. Do you think it's helpful when you deal with Chelsea, and it's Mourinho and Terry that you particularly single out mm -hmm. as being a problem in your career, yep. when you respond by saying, and I'm quoting direct from a piece you wrote in the newspaper recently, that Jose Mourinho, the manager, mm -hmm. sinks lower than his dog's belly in his dealing with referees. You're trying to make a case for players yep. and managers being held to account for what yep. you regard as their outrageous bullying behaviour. Yes. 